Hello everyone, welcome back to Erica Builds and another Sims 4 Speed Build. Today we are in the brand new world of Glimmerbrook and I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview here so you can um, see which lot I'm building on. There are the Maxis houses you can see there which I have no comment on and then over here is the lot that we're going to be building on today which is called Glimmerbrook watch and it's a 30 by 20 and it's an empty lot so i didn't have to demolish anything in fact there were a couple of trees on the lot and i just left them there and yeah so um this world to me has sort of the look of like granite falls probably a little bit um i do think it's very pretty i like the trees and the water so yeah um other than that, there's not, it's a very small place. Um, there are, uh, there's like one community lot, I think that's a bar, and then the rest, there's like four houses or something, and then that's it. So it's a very small world. Um, but I wanted to come over here and see what I could come up with to use uh, all the new build materials that we got. And I will apologize because I pretty much just jumped right into this build. I didn't really look through the new items first or think of what kind of house I was gonna build or anything. I just pretty much just started building. So um, as I was pulling things out, I really liked these doors and windows with the stained glass. Um, it's they're very pretty they definitely look a lot like beauty and the beast um with like the flower um sort of motif and i really like the glass so i was like okay that's good. what i'm going to use for this house but other than that i didn't really know <laughs> what i was gonna do so uh i started just like placing some windows and doors and stuff and trying to see how they fit together um it's kind of nice how they have uh, this sort of like tall rectangular window and then the arched window that will actually go right up against it. Um, you can see I did that on the front sort of bump out there on the first floor and then I did it again on the second floor on the far, far left side. So that was kind of a cool um, you know, way to uh, place the windows. But other than that, I don't, I'm sorry to say, I don't really have a lot of good things to say about these items um, for several reasons. Number one, I, as much as I love the windows themselves, the way they're framed is just so weird and so like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And because the windows didn't make any sense to me, it was very hard for me to decide what type of house this would be. Because when you think about magic and fairy tales and I don't know, like just sort of this magical world, I, you know, I kind of had this vision in my mind of sort of like rustic, like very cute, maybe like um, little cottages or something. But this build stuff is really not like that. The, the closest thing I compare, can compare it to is it's very similar to Get Famous. I feel like the doors and windows, the columns and the fences especially are very, very fancy. And so it doesn't really kind of go with this world of like this wooded sort of rustic looking world. I don't know. I just, I almost quit building this house so many times. In fact, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I had a small breakdown yesterday because I have been working on this house for hours and making zero progress. And I just felt like nothing made any sense, nothing matched. I was trying to use um, some wallpapers from Get Together. Um, and so it almost gave it like a little bit of like a Tudor look, 
because I don't know, it it's just bizarre. That's all I can say. <laughs> the windows, the windows actually look nice on the inside, but on the outside they have this really fat, very thick white edging like that frame the windows and it doesn't match anything and I don't, I don't really, I really don't know how to, to explain the thoughts process <laughs> behind trying to choose some sort of exterior, uh, wallpaper that would go with this very, very difficult to match, um, framing around these windows. Um, even with this get together wallpaper, it, you can see it's not the same color because it's like a white framed window right up against like a creamy sort of off-white colored walls. So that bothers me. I, I don't know. There's so many things that bother me. And you guys know I'm like the queen of matching. <laughs> like everything has to match. And I really, really wanted to try to build something with this pack and use everything that was in it. But in the end, I ended up having to take a lot of it out because it was either that or I was just never going to finish this house. So you will see it sort of change as we get towards the end of the video. But anyway, um, the interior was definitely a lot more fun to work on than the exterior, even though we didn't really get a ton um, of interior stuff. It, it, you know, it's always fun to play around with something new. So these kitchen counters are actually really pretty. I like the tile, um, they did for the countertops. Um, the only bad news is they didn't make the backsplash high enough on the wallpaper. And so the counters cut right through the middle of that top edging of the backsplash. Boy, I really, really wish they would fix that. I I feel like it's a mistake because you, you can't even see the top part of the backsplash at all. So I don't know if they would consider going back and changing it. I'm thinking probably no. <laughs> so that's the only thing that kind of stinks about this is that you have this really cool wallpaper behind the cabinets, but you don't know it's there because you can't see it. And we didn't get upper cabinets to match. So now I'm having another hissy fit because none of the upper cabinets that we have in the game match. The vampire pack ones were a little bit close. These base game ones, I think were just a tiny bit closer, but really none of them match. And so that's another complaint. <laughs> is that my upper cabinets don't match my lower cabinets. So I don't know. I was just, this build was so difficult for me to power through and just commit to finishing. I, I really started to question my ability to build anything. <laughs> In fact, I may need tomorrow completely off from building just to remember like, yes, I actually know how to build. I have to erase everything that just happened over the last two days um, so I can get back into the swing of things because this was just so beyond challenging that it just, it, it, it defeated me. This, that's what it did. This, this pack defeated me. I feel like a failure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and upload the video and put the house on the gallery because I had made a joke. Actually, I was serious. I had made an Instagram story that said the house is ugly and I'm not going to do it. And I probably had about 25 DMs from people who were like, no, you have to post the house. I'm like, no, please don't make me. <laughs> but um, I talked to some people who cheered me up and they were like, yeah, this pack is really hard to work with. You're not alone. You know, everybody's struggling. So just go ahead and post your house. And I'm like, fine, I'll post this house, even though I'm kind of like ashamed of it because it's so bad. But um, hopefully it gives you some ideas of things that you can do and make it better because, well, for me, I don't really build, you know, fairy tale inspired homes anyway. I do mostly all just like regular suburban family homes. So maybe if I had more experience with that, I wouldn't have had so much trouble. Um, 
but basically for this kitchen, I tried to think of a spellcaster or like a witch or like somebody who would have like a lot of herbs and plants. And that's why I went just like plant crazy in the kitchen. I actually even put planter boxes in the kitchen um, and that herb rack that we got from Seasons. So I just imagine that this spellcaster um, has lots of a very very much has a green thumb and grows a lot of things in their backyard I put some gardening plots back there but you of course could add more if you want to um it just seemed to fit the vibe of the personality of this person that they would have you know all of these like homegrown vegetables and stuff um for the rest of the house kind of what I was imagining was that this would be the home of like a spellcaster who has a baby but also has a nanny that lives there with them um so a total of three bedrooms here in the living room um i didn't really have anything in mind other than your typical you know like seating area there's a fireplace i haven't played around with this fireplace yet um in the actual game to like see what it does but it looks like it has some kind of like crystals or something that burn in the bottom of it so that looks kind of cool and um one thing that this pack had a lot of was it had a lot of surfaces a lot of like tables and curio cabinets and end tables and accent tables so that was really nice um and they do all match the trim on the windows which was nice too um the only thing i didn't put in here was a tv because the way that um new fireplace sort of curves there wasn't a way because normally i would just do a tv mounted over the fireplace but because of that curve i couldn't get a tv there so that was the only bad thing um that that room didn't have a tv and then on this first floor there's also a bathroom again we got this really cool tile like we have in the kitchen um it's just a little bit too short uh if it came up just a little bit higher you'd be able to see it up over the top of that sink which would have been nice um but yeah so here is a giant time skip okay so basically when i was really seriously considering that I was going to demolish this house and just forget the whole thing. Um, I just came back and was kind of messing around with it like off camera because I honestly really didn't think I was gonna be able to make it into a video. So yeah, um, basically I just did like all the landscaping and I made this little like spell casting thing in the backyard and the little gardening area and stuff. And then I started working on the master bedroom upstairs and then then when I saw this gorgeous bed with this stained glass roof, uh, roof, I guess, I don't know, no stained glass top over the bed that matched the windows, I was like, okay, now I'm in a better mood because this is a gorgeous bed and I love it. Um, so then I decided, okay, I'll just turn the camera back on, I guess, and record finishing up this house. And I guess I'll just Put it up on YouTube and <laughs> let you guys uh, get a good laugh out of how much trouble I had building this. So then the next bedroom that I did was for the nanny. Of course, this could be used for a child or a teen or for anybody really. But in my mind, I had pictured it for a nanny. And um, we it could be. And the reason why I thought of a nanny was because we got a um baby bassinet in this set that was so pretty um that i just really wanted to use it and so i was like okay if this spellcaster has a baby i really feel like they need a nanny because if you're always over in the magical world you know going through portals and stuff you gotta have somebody to take care of your baby right um so this is the nanny's room it just has a single bed and a desk with a computer and there's a dresser and a full-length mirror and pretty much every single thing in this room is from the new pack so that artwork all the tables the rug the bed everything um except for the curtains um i didn't use the new curtains in here because they wouldn't fit on those strangerville windows in fact the new curtains really don't fit on anything except for the exact window that they were made the like arched window that came with this new pack 
those curtains really can't be used for any other type of window, which is kind of unfortunate because when you only get like five new windows in the pack, you're probably gonna have to use, you know, other windows from other packs. And so for me, I used a lot of windows in this house from Strangerville uh, because I found that the color and the style was very similar. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to use the curtains in every room, but I did use them downstairs. And then this is the baby's room. So I used the new bassinet. Um, I made a little changing table and then there's a little chest of drawers where I put like some baby bottles and stuff. And I couldn't resist using the skeleton bear because it just made me think, I don't know, a spellcaster would give their baby like this giant stuffed skeleton bear. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, this is almost the end of the build. Um, I, I, I have mixed feelings about all of this stuff. You know, I think that some of these things I will be able to use in my regular building, like this wallpaper with the flowers, I can definitely hundred percent use that flooring. I, um, is very pretty. I could definitely use that. Um, so there are things in here that I think are nice. Um, it was just, I think, almost impossible to build a house strictly using only everything that came in the pack. So, I mean, not imp impossible for me. <laughs> I'm sure for other people it's not impossible. <laughs> but for me, it was almost impossible. So probably um, I'll just use some of these items, you know, here and there when I'm building, um, you know, the type of houses that I regularly build. So anyway, let me know what you think of the house and what you think of Realm of Magic. Did you buy it? Are you planning to buy it? Do you like it if you already bought it? Um, and do you want to see more builds over here? I don't know. I mean, I could give it a try, but I feel like I kind of failed at this one. So I may just have to go back um, and just build some regular houses <laughs> to uh, boost my confidence back up. But anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more homes from me. I'm sorry I've been kind of gone the last few days. My mom was in town and there were some crazy things going on with my job. But um, tomorrow I'm going to be out of town again. But then I'll be home this weekend. So I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more building um, here over the weekend and in the weeks to come. So stay tuned for more. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.